In episode oh. 1, the main guy, Denji, lost his father, who had to pay a lot of money to Yakuza. It was on him to pay him the money instead or his body parts will be sold. There are devils in that world, and an injured chainsaw devil came to him. Denji let him drink some of his blood, as devils healed by that. In return, Denji told him to become his pet and named him Puchita. Then he killed a devil and gave it to the Yazuka leader, so he got hired as their devil hunter. Now, it was revealed that Denji sold his kidney, right eye, and one ball, and cuts woods and works as a devil hunter too, but still has to pay 38,040,000 yen to the Yakuza. At night, Denji thought about living a rich life and having a girl with him. The Yakuza leader came and took him to a place to hunt a devil. There, Denji and Pachita got stabbed by a Yakuza member. The leader revealed that he and his gang made a contract with the zombie devil to become stronger to get more money, while the zombie devil wanted all the devil hunters to die. The gang became like zombies and was getting controlled by the zombie devil. Denji tried to escape with Pachita even though he was stabbed, but got captured and cut into pieces. He was then thrown in a trash can with Pachita. His blood went into Pachita's mouth that healed him. Pachita remembered that Denji once told him that if he dies, take over his body. If Pachita will try to survive alone, he'll get killed by a devil hunter, but if he'll take over Denji's body, his survival chances will increase. Pachita then started taking over Denji's body, and in his consciousness, he told him that he'll become his heart, and in return, he'll show him his dream. Denji received consciousness back and noticed the chainsaw pull cord on his chest. Meaning instead of possessing Denji, Pachita just healed him and let him control himself. Zombies attacked him again, but Denji pulled the string, and three chainsaws came out of his arms and head. He then started killing zombies, and then killed the zombie devil too by slicing it into two pieces. The affected people were still zombies, so Denji decided to kill them all, as if they all will die, no one will be left to take debt from him. Next day, an official devil hunter, Maakima, came there and hugged Denji when he told her to, that calmed him, and he went back to his normal form. Maakima told him to either die as a devil, or work like a devil hunter as a human. Denji accepted to become the devil hunter. The next episode, Maakima told Denji that from now on, he's her dog, and he'll always say woo for yes whenever she'll order him something. She gave him her coat and offered her food, so he fell in love with her. Maakima bought him to the Tokyo branch of Devil Hunters and gave him the uniform people wear there. Then she introduced him to Aki, another devil hunter who started working three years earlier. She sent them to hunt some devils together, but Aki beat oh. Denji up and told him to quit that job, as people die so soon if they don't have a serious goal. Denji kicked his balls and told him that he got to eat good food and was treated with respect for the first time in his life, so he won't quit. They fraught a bit more, and Denji won by keep hitting his balls. Maakima then revealed that Denji is a special devil hunter. He'll work for them but if he resigns or leave, he'll get killed as a devil. Meaning, he'll work for them till he dies. Denji then started living with Aki on Maakima's order. Later, Denji and Aki went to hunt a fiend. Fiends are the devils who take over human body and control them. Their face tells that they aren't humans. Denji killed him with just an axe to not make it so painful, so Aki told him that he hates devils, as his family got killed by a devil too. He then told him to get a goal, so Denji decided to touch some footballs. Maakima then gave Denji another new partner, Power, who is a fiend too. Her horns on the head shows it. Power and Denji went to hunt some devils. Power suddenly smelt the sea cucumber devil and manipulated her blood in a way that it made a big hammer. She killed the devil by hitting it with it. The next episode, Power revealed that her pet cat, Mioi, was taken hostage by a devil, and when she was trying to take her back, Maakima captured her and made her work for her. After knowing his love for footballs, Power told Denji that if he'll help her get Mioi back, she'll let him touch hers, so Denji agreed. It was revealed the devils become strong if people fear them. If there's a car devil, they'll be strong as people will be afraid of fighting a car. That's why Maakima has high hopes for Denji, as people fear chainsaws. Denji and Power went to the house where the devil was staying. Suddenly, Power knocked Denji out with her hammer and took him inside the house. There was a bat devil inside, who had sent Power to get him something to eat, as he is injured and wanted to get healed by drinking blood. He drank some of Denji's blood and got healed, but as there was devil's blood in it too, he started going to the city to drink pure human blood. Power asked him to give her Mioi back, but he instead swallowed her for bringing a bad blood for him. Power remembered that she found Mioi in wild and gave her meat and milk of the animal she drank blood of. She wanted to make Mioi healthy to eat her, but later they became best friends. She was on the roof of a house with her once, but Bat Devil took her and told Power to bring him a human if she wants Mioi back. Now, Power lost the will to live, so Bat Devil swallowed her too. He went to the city to eat humans, but found Denji drinking his blood to heal. To get Power back for her footballs, he used his devil powers and started fighting the Bat Devil. They fell into the city and fought there. 
Denji was only worried about saving females. Later, Bat Devil started fearing Denji as he wasn't giving up and in the end, got killed by him. The next episode, Denji bought Power and Mioi out of Bat Devil's body. Power allowed him to touch her footballs. Suddenly a leech devil appeared and ate his arm. She was the girl of Bat Devil and wanted to eat everyone including Power, so Denji fought her. He had already lost a lot of blood, so his chainsaw didn't completely came out. Leech Devil insulted Denji's goal, so he went serious but got defeated in the end. She was about to eat him, suddenly Aki released his devil, Khan, on her. Khan ate her and left. Later, Denji's arm got fixed as he's half devil. Aki revealed that he offered some of his skin to Khan to make a contract with him. He then told Denji that his and Power's actions can lead them to their disposal. That's why if they'll always listen and follow him, he will give a false report to the higher-ups, so Denji agreed. Aki then gave false report to Makima and lied to save Denji and Power. Next morning, Makima sent Power to live with Aki and Denji, as she can't stay in her office. At night, Denji was cleaning the mess Power made, suddenly she came and told Denji that he can touch her footballs three times. For rescuing Mioi, killing Bat Devil, and for lying about her to higher-ups. The next episode, Denji touched her footballs one time and came to know that she was using pads to make them look bigger. Then he touched them two more times, and that's it. He couldn't believe that that was all he fought for. Next day he told it to Maakima when she asked about it, so she made some atmosphere first and let him touch hers. Denji was shocked about how that felt. Maakima then told Denji to capture the gun devil, and as a reward, she'll grant any of his wish. Then Aki's past was shown. He finally started having good relations with his little brother who was always sick, but then saw his house and family getting destroyed by gun devil. In less than 5 minutes, 1.2 million people around the world got killed. Now, Maakima revealed that some pieces of gun devil were found and they attract each other when they're near. Meaning they can use them to track gun devil's location. Aki and another devil hunter, Himeno, hunted a devil that had gun devil's part in it. Gun devil is so strong, so just their part makes other devils stronger too. Now, six members of Special Division 4 were sent to hunt a devil in a hotel. That devil had eaten Gun Devil's part too. New characters were Arai and Kabeni. Himeno said that whoever will hunt the devil first will get a tongue kiss from her. They all went inside. Himeno was the oldest member of the Devil Hunter organization there. Suddenly a devil appeared and attacked Kabeni, but Power and Himeno killed him. It was revealed that Himeno made a contract with the ghost devil by giving her her right eye and can use its hand to fight. They went to the upper floor but came back to the same one. They checked again, and it was like a loop of stairs. They were stuck on the eighth floor. The next episode, they tried checking rooms by going in one and came out of the one in front of it. Going upwards or downwards led to the same floor too. It was a devil using its ability. It was revealed that Kabeni was forced by her family to become a devil hunter to financially support her older brother for his studies. Funny. Aki revealed that the clocks in every room are stuck at 8.18, meaning the time outside the hotel has stopped. That's why they can't expect a backup. Later, it was revealed that it was Himeno who made Aki addicted to cigarettes. The devil that got killed earlier was increasing in size as it was being feared more and more. It made a deal that it'll let everyone out if they let it eat Denji's dead body, but Aki and Himeno refused. Power ate all the food, which increased Kabeni's thoughts and fear that they all will die there. That gave more energy to the devil, and it rotated the hallway to try to eat Denji. When everything kept getting worse, Denji decided to deal with the devil himself and jumped inside its mouth. The next episode, Denji bought his chainsaws out and started torturing the devil to make it free them. He was going insane, so Himeno remembered that devils fear those who don't fear them. That's why they were after Denji as eating a fearless being like that makes them stronger too. Three days passed, and the devil finally gave up. It showed Denji its heart and begged him to kill him. Denji killed it and they all finally came out. They also had one more piece of gun devil's flesh, as it was eaten by the eternity devil. Later they had a dinner party with some new faces too. It was revealed that Denji's underage. A fellow hunter told Denji that Himeno has kissed every worker there when she's drunk. Maakima came there too, and they had a drinking contest. Himeno got too high and straight up kissed Denji, but vomited inside. Denji's body unwillingly swallowed it, as he's half devil. Because the vomit had beer in it too, he got high and lost consciousness, so Himeno took him to her apartment on her back. She lay with him on the bed and asked to do the haram thing. The next episode, Denji refused to do the haram thing with Himeno, as he wanted to do it with Makima for the first time. Next day, Himeno told Denji that she likes Aki, and as Denji likes Makima, both decided to help each other get their crushes. Makima was going to attend a meeting in Kyoto on a train. Suddenly the passengers from around shot her and the guy with her, and killed them both. Other devil hunters were doing their things too, suddenly the civilians started shooting them too. 
Denji Akipower and Himeno were in a restaurant, suddenly a man started talking to them and showed Denji a picture of his grandfather. Huh? He was the Akuza leader whom Denji worked under and later killed. He started oh. shooting them all, so Aki used his fox devil and she ate him. The building collapsed that injured Denji and Himeno. That man sliced the fox devil and came out unhurt. He was the katana devil just like Denji's the chainsaw devil. Aki fraught him with his sword which was like a nail. After Bowie. stabbing him three times Bowie. with that special Bowie. sword, the cursed devil possessing the sword came out and killed the katana devil. A girl, Akane, came there and resurrected the katana devil. Katana devil then sliced Aki's chest in an instant and went to finish him. Himeno made a deal with her ghost devil that she'll give her her whole body, and in return, she'll fight katana devil in her true form, not just a hand. Ghost devil agreed and fought the katana devil. Himeno was losing her body parts. Akane called out the snake devil, and it separated ghost devil's head. Himeno was gone. The next episode, Power secretly ran away as she couldn't defeat them. The disappearing ghost devil pulled Denji's chainsaw pull cord, which made him conscious again. Katana Devil and Akane looked like villains, so Denji started fighting them. Some of their men came, so Denji took one hostage, but no. Katana Devil sliced Denji into two. Then the devil hunters were shown who got killed by Akane's and Katana Devil's men. Not Makima though. Two devil hunters, Kuris and Tendo, came to pick Makima up. She told them she wasn't shot and there was just some shooting inside the train. She demanded 30 convicts with life sentences or worse. After changing clothes, she and the 30 prisoners were on a temple at high altitude. Huh? Akane's group was taking Denji to their van, suddenly they started getting crushed one by one. It was Makima using her ability. She was telling the prisoners to say the enemy's name, which was causing the enemy to get crushed, and the prisoner was dying <gasps> too. Only higher-ups are allowed to see her that ability. All the prisoners were used, so Makima's work was over. Sussy. Akane and Katana Devil were still alive huh? and were leaving, suddenly Kabeni came there, as a right took her bullet <gasps> too. Akane used a snake devil on her, but she moved like a monkey and started defeating them with her speed and agility. After seeing no chance to win, Akane and Katana devil escaped. Kabeni thought about quitting the job once she sees Himeno again. Later, Makima met a devil hunter, Madoka, who told her that special divisions 1-4 to four all were attacked and almost everyone died except the non-humans. That's why everyone from the first three divisions will be sent to division 4, which will be under Makima's command. Madoka then quit too. Kuris and Tendo will also work under Makima from now on. In next episode, only Power Denji Aki and Kabeni among the known people survive. Cursed Devil then told Aki that he has only two years to live as he used his special sword, and it can only be used in return for some of the user's life. Aki then cried as Himeno was dead. Makima bought Denji and Power to a senior devil hunter, Kishibe, to train them. He asked Denji and Power some shonen anime main character questions, and after getting satisfactory answers, he accepted them as his students. Denji and Power are devils, so training them would be like playing with toys for him. Aki couldn't call out Khan, as she was angry at him for using her so roughly. Bruh. Kuris and Tendo are advisors, so they do career counseling for the humans who are devil hunters. Denji and Power trained till night. Next day, Kishibe came to pick them, but they team worked and tried to defeat him using brains, but still failed to hit him even once. <laughs> Kuris and Tendo bought Aki to sign a contract with a new stronger devil. Aki remembered that while he was in hospital, Himeno's sister gave him the letters Himeno wrote, which showed that she loved him and wanted him to quit being a devil hunter to not die. Aki then went to sign a contract with the devil named Future Devil. The next episode, the Future Devil saw Aki's future to decide the deal and decided to go inside Aki's right eye. It was revealed that the new Division 4 will fight Akane Katana and their group at once. Kishibe figured out that Makima had already figured out that they'll get attacked by Akane and Katana. Thanks to Katana Devil's grandfather, Katana and Akane had zombie army in their building basement. Makima met the leader of the Yakuza gang whom Katana Devil works under. He told her that those were his men who attacked her devil hunters, but it wasn't on his but Akane's order. She took them by letting them buy guns and ammo for 20,000 yen from the gun devil himself. Makima told him to write the names of everyone in his organization who contracted with the gun devil. She also asked for the names of their families in return for the eyeballs of everyone's loved one who was present there. Sussy. She knows someone who can fix them back. A guy touched her but died. <gasps> devil hunters raided the building of Akane and Katana Devil. The new members of Division 4 also appeared. One was Shark Fiend, who can swim inside any surface and can transform into his devil form. One was Violence Fiend, who can fight good and wears mask to dispense the poison gas. One was Spider Devil, who can grow legs and kill like a spider. One was Angel Devil, who can drain the lifespan of someone she touches and can use wings that are strong enough to block a bullet. Aki faced some enemies, but they started dying as Makima was using her ability on them behind the scenes. 
Aki went further and faced Akane. She summoned the ghost devil to fight Aki. Using future devil's power, Aki was able to see the future a bit. Ghost devil managed to grab Aki and started choking him. The next episode, Aki remembered that once after knowing that he was underage, Himeno took the cigarette back and said that she'll give it to him when he'll grow up. Now, Ghost Devil gave Aki the cigarette, as Himeno made that type of deal with her when she was alive. It was revealed that Ghost Devil can't see, so she only attacks by sensing fear, so Aki calmly beheaded her. Kabeni came there too and immobilized Akane. Denji and Power were going to face Katana Devil. A lot of zombies came in the way, so Power fought them all alone. Denji faced Katana Devil and they started fighting. Their fight led them to a train, where Katana Devil used his fast attack twice and separated Denji's arms. On his third time, Denji sliced him into two pieces by bringing a chainsaw out of his leg. He then tied Katana Devil whose body got recovered till then. Denji decided to torture him, so Aki came and joined him too. Together, they did their best to make him scream so loud that even Himeno could hear it in the afterlife. Now, the raid was over. It was revealed that Akane and her group were after Denji because of his chainsaw devil ability, but before they could ask them the reason, the snake devil separated Akane's head as planned. They found 1.4 kilograms of gun devil's flesh from the building too, so now they have 5 kilograms of it in total, and one chunk has finally started moving towards the main body of the gun devil. Denji Power and Aki then wandered around and came back home. Aki smoked the cigarette of Himeno. Denji dreamt about going back to his old house as a kid. Pachita was in there, but didn't let Denji come in as he wasn't subscribed. In the final scene, a girl was shown who asked Denji if he'll rather be a city's or a country's mouse. Thanks for sticking till the end. If you enjoyed then like subscribe, join my Patreon, and check out my other videos too.